Absolutely. Yeah, she know how to she knew how to drop them. She dropped them a lot. But anyway, next video. So y'all gave me a whole bunch of insults that would actually hurt a Southerner's feelings, and I'm gonna have to share the best ones with y'all. Your mom measures her sugar for her tea. Mm. Your papa can't drive a stick shift. And that one stings. Oh yeah, well, I bet your grandpa can't smell the rain coming. <laughs> your mom makes pie with store-bought crust. Now I'd be careful with that because I know several Southern mamas that would slap you in the face for that. <clears throat> yeah, y'all gotta be careful. You can't joke around with stuff like that. Gulf Shores beaches aren't that nice. Now, you know, actually we do have really, really good saint. Okay, see now that one actually is getting me riled up. Your grandma's gravy is from a packet. Okay, some of y'all better sleep with one eye open. Or we ask y'all to bring plates and drinks for a reason. Now, this one is probably the most southern insult of all because you can't tell right away that it is an insult. It stings you a little bit later. And yeah, I hate to break it to y'all that have been asked to bring drinks and plates to the potluck for years and years and you haven't figured it out yet. You can't cook. Oh. Mm. That's why yeah, they told me to bring the paper only plates and cups. That, the only reason why I played that video. I now remember why I played that video. If they tell you to bring the drinks and the plates, you can't cook. That's why they kept telling me to do that. Now I know. Yep, yeah, that you, you can't cook. Is that really a bad that thing? That or. Is an or to this? Yeah, it's always an or. Yeah. It is a. <laughs> Touche. Uh. <laughs> Well, I'm saying that's but an or? There is an or, depending upon the family dynamic. So, like, I come from, like, if we're talking about coming to my mama's house, she's got everything anyway. She don't want you to bring nothing unless she really likes something that you cook. So, like, my wife, she is responsible for bringing mac and cheese. This is what it is, hmm. right? Which, mm -hmm. in, in a lot of the black families, that's, that's a big deal. When the family says, yeah, you... Whoever gets mac and cheese or potato salad, potato salad. Mm -hmm. If you are the people who get to do that, not only are you one of the people who's allowed to cook in mama's kitchen. Oh, it's, it's a third. It's a, <laughs> it's third, a third one. It's a third. Or oh, the one. pound cake, banana pudding. Oh no, banana pudding. I don't like you banana can take pudding. that That's stuff and flush you it down that, into throw that out the window. nasty. No chunky yellow mayonnaise. But anyway. <laughs> It pretty much that's what it is. <laughs> With some Nilla wafers on it. But um no, but what I was saying though, that's where my ore comes in. Like when you you have to be like, I don't know, anointed, so to speak. Like the matriarch of the family is basically the one who decides who gets to bring the substantive dishes. Right, the matriarch is the one that's gonna say yes. You can bring the the roast chicken, or you can bring the mac and cheese. Like she says, that's like an honor in some family. So that's why I would say it could be a, an or. And then if you just ain't known for cooking nothing good, or you the knucklehead who keep want to show up with salad, yeah, you might get fork duty. I don't see what's wrong with bringing the paper. It's essential. You can't eat without it. Well, I, I tell you this: it, well, it, 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 there is an or, there is an or. So this, but it wasn't the or that you said. There is an or to it, and I hate to tell this because I don't want nobody blowing up my comment section, but it's true. The one, the first one is correct because you can't cook. We know you can't cook, and we're not going to eat your food. So bring the plates and the drinks. There also is a economical reason to it. Like we know that your family is the the poorest family in the group. And the only thing that we know that you can afford is plates and, you know, dollar store plates and dollar store knives and forks and spoons and dollar store drinks and everything else. So we're going to give you the easier route because it's not like we're crazy enough to believe that you're going to buy an abundance amount of this stuff. So just to say that you contribute to the cookout party, whatever. Can you bring the plate? That's some families that do events on the regular. I ain't in that family. Uh, nope, that's every year for me. That's the, that's the year, that's the event for me every year that we know the family who 
We know dog old will, you're not gonna go spend thirty, forty, fifty dollars on some food to make a specific thing because you can't afford it, but you could go and get plates and cups and um napkins and that's not cheap neither. Because them dollar twenty five tree um plates and cups, that that's some garbage. You got to go to a supply store. No, you better show up with them reinforced paper plates. Don't you show up? Yeah, the ones that got some uh, weight to them. You can put some food. I got to put three oh, plates yeah. together to be able to eat. First you of all, know. you show up with Tupperware so you can take some home. You don't just show up. No, just... you make your own Tupperware now. You can make your own Tupperware. You get a sturdy enough plate and some saran wrap. or No, some, you don't uh, want to take a pork. chance with hey, leaking. Hey, Anna. No. Hey, Anna. Anna. These it's all about food. how you wrap it. These are bougie mm -hmm. people right here. These you are get Tupperware because they don't want that leaking in your car. You want everything. How you going to call yeah. us bougie? Uh, the you calling bougie us bougie, people. but you talking, about, you, bougie. you talking about a caste system within the family. Is a caste nah. system within the family. He broke. Because he broke. here's the deal. He you know, you know, know he's cheap. Let's give him you the dollar. When you grab that plate, if you stupid enough to grab one plate, no, a dog go well. That one plate ain't gonna hold nothing. No, you grab about three or four of those plates to reinforce. No, the first you plate. waste, that's wasteful. That's wasteful. You get the plates that are reinforced so you don't have to do that. And or or move. you go to the dollar no, store you get and them you buy the little plastic yeah, plate thingy that you just put the plate on top of. Yep. That's or, so, or here's my, four, here's my, this one. No, no, you don't put no three or four plates. That's dumb. You get the Tupperware. That's a waste. So, nah, tup, no, get Tupperware. It won't leak in your car. Here's what you do if you smart. You get those to go carts. You get Tupperware. Them to go carts <laughs> like they got at the at the um, soul food places. You know they close and they and they can't sleep. You get those. You gotta go get Tupperware. Now y'all know Anna don't, don't like to sit there and talk about a whole lot about food now. Tupperware. You do get Tupperware. It's way we better. Can, it's better. Before. It will not Tupperware. leak in the car. Why you, you gonna go get plates? You know Tupperware parties. Y'all bougie little people. Maybe Tracy, sick. Tracy, he's he messing with you because what he's doing right now is he's acting like you're literally talking about the brand Tupperware and not just a Tupperware container. You better go Please. get that empty butter bowl. Them and cool bring your whip jar. <laughs> Thank you. Them cool whip containers that don't got cool whip in it. Them cookie containers that don't have cookies in them. You can no. afford Cool Whip? They got generic Cool Whip. It's like 88 cents at Walmart. Too much. How much you want to pay for Cool Whip? 50 cents. No, you ain't going to. Ain't none 50 cents. I'm I'm, I'm See, really that what happen when you eat mayonnaise. I'm talking to y'all like I was growing up and I knew what but I was But you get Tupperware like. because it won't, the juices won't leak in your car because you know somebody's going to have collard greens. And that's, depend, what kids, it, that's what the kids for. That's what the plastic bag for. You don't put it in. No, you do not do. Don't listen. Y'all don't listen to Marlon. You get you the nice, good, sturdy you get you Tupperware. Plastic, you get you a plastic garbage bag. You tie that plastic bag completely around that plate and make sure that you put and it And it's on still going to leak. Don't put it on. That's just juice. That ain't going to hurt. That. You tie it completely it's tight. Except your upholstery. No, that's why I say you put it on the floor. Don't put it in your chair. Don't put it on the seat. You don't you ever put, put your food Who on the floor. Who puts food board. on the floor? You put your food on the floor. That's where Nobody. dirty shoes go. No, because the dirty shoes on the other side. It's on the other side of the car. Ain't nobody ever rode in your car with their shoes on. Yeah. How many people are you riding in your car? Because <laughs> hey, you must be riding two people. You might be the people. only one in the car right now. But yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. had their little dirty shoes. You don't put your food on the floor. On with. the floor? I can see the trunk, hey, Susan, maybe. Took, but the Susan, floor? What took you so long? Because I knew you was going to do some bamboo paper plates and sponsor. I, I mean, they I good, that. but Susan, can't nobody afford them things. Ain't nobody you can yeah, I can't afford no bamboo. bamboo stuff. Susan, nobody can afford no bamboo stuff. Anyway, last video, and it's my boy. But she's right, though. I just can't, I just can't put that money on it. Oh, he's right. She's right. I'll be standing over by, I'll be standing right there like, no, you're going to finish that plate. <laughs> I fell asleep. Balling plastic bags won't be up. Uh, no balling. Just, uh, hey, okay. They bad for the environment. They, they good for my kit. They good for my, um. I hate that when I go to the store, they gave me 18. So I'm like, stop. That's why you got to bring your own bags. I got my own bags. They've been asking us to do that forever. 
But you know what people do? What people fail to do? They never clean their bags. They show sure them. How do you clean bags? You put them in this thing. You get the, the same way you would clean anything else. You get some 409 and a paper towel, and you get to wiping the inside of that bag out. Because oh, the yeah. problem is, if you're talking food safety, you should never you you should never put chicken in the bag that the beef was at. And you don't want to put dry food no, in the bag that the chicken was at. And so forth and so on. 